All right, YouTube, people keep lying to me and saying that Jeb Bush has endorsed Gary Johnson, hoping I won't fact check it. I guess the hope is uh, people who don't like the libertarian movement, most of these are, are Clinton shills because they realize Johnson's drawing a lot more young leftist support than young, like, Trumpite, you know, millennial Republican support. Most of them are Clinton shills. Uh, they do want the Libertarian Party to be identified with the outcast neocons of the Republican Party post-Trump takeover. That is not actually the case. The only Bush who has actually endorsed Gary Johnson is Martin Bush. Now, Martin Bush has never been the president or a governor and been part of the Bush scheming. That being said, the very fact that he's within the same family is disturbing. The Libertarian Party should welcome all comers, but it needs to make sure people understand if the Bushes want to get on board with the Libertarian movement, it had better be because there was an actual change of heart and they realized that the retardation of W and Jeb and people like them and the Romneys and McCains of the party is not tolerated within the Libertarian Party. That they're not simply going to flood the party with money and try to take it over and force people to be reliant upon them in order to get funding in exchange for kickbacks. That's what needs to be said. I know, for example, I would leave the Libertarian Party and I would not return to it if it became the Bush Light Party if it actually got transformed into a corporatist movement away from actual free market capitalism into a movement that said, oh, well, there's some wiggle room on these moral laws and steadily got more authoritarian, it would be worthless because it wouldn't even be libertarian any anymore. It wouldn't be libertarianism. So that would be my, my uh, warning to the libertarians out there. If Martin Bush wants to get on board, okay, that's fine. He's, he hasn't fucked up our country. He's not W. If you see the Jebs and Romneys start to jump aboard and offer people $10 million in campaign financing, that's when you probably have to worry. We don't need their filth. I mean, it's obvious. The libertarian movement is outfunded and outraised by even second-tier candidates. People like Martin O'Malley or people like Carly Fiorina within the main parties. And yet, Johnson, who is a pragmatist who isn't even the best-spoken libertarian, is still riding high above 8%. There's no, there's no reason for it. It's an organic movement. The ideology itself is the founding ideology of the United States of America. The libertarian movement represents legitimate Americanism. It represents legitimate classical liberalism in several variants. It represents legitimate revolutionary era rhetoric. It represents liberty. That's what the libertarian movement represents. The majority of the U.S. population is comprised of libertarians. They simply don't realize it because they've never known anything about the libertarian movement. The libertarian movement's not going to shrink. It's not going to go away. It's already hitting critical mass. It's getting to the point where a double-digit total of the U.S. voting public endorses libertarianism. That's a far cry from what happened the last time around, when I think it was like 2.5%, or the 3 or 4% Johnson got in 2008. It's a far cry ahead. It's an increase of several times over of the vote share. It's being more heavily funded through grassroots means, and we saw, we've seen so far in this election cycle, two of the best candidates <clears throat> from the major parties were a self-funded individual, who didn't take any corporate donations and did not solicit them. And another person who ran a grassroots campaign and neither solicited nor accepted corporate donations. Bernie Sanders, of course. Now, of course, Sanders is a socialist. Trump's a paleocon. They're not libertarians. They may share, you know, Bernie Sanders' view on marijuana is similar to the libertarian issue. He, does, he doesn't even go as far as the libertarian party. Trump's view may be on, like, uh on gay marriage or something would be similar. He doesn't really give a fuck about it, essentially wants to leave the issue alone. Or, or transgendered bathrooms or something like that. That being said, two of the strongest candidates were funded in the same manner that Gary Johnson is largely being funded. The libertarian movement does not need a bunch of corporate... If, if the libertarian party decides the only way we can take over is to take the corporate cash and temper our message, then there's no point in having a libertarian movement. So Martin Bush, his endorsement doesn't disturb me that much because he's not W. He's not Jeb the Reb. He's not Jeb the Autist or something like that. 
At the same time, whenever you've got a bush around, you've got to be wary because they are a corrupt family. It's presumable that the corruption is not limited to George Herbert Walker, George W., and Little Jeb. It's presumable that the corruption goes further. The least corrupt bush is like Laura Bush. You know, the Bush wives are the smart ones. The Bush men are all a bunch of Neanderthals who don't understand what they're talking about. Every single one of them is a neocon. I have to assume that if the Bushes and Romneys and so forth all jump aboard the Gary Johnson train, they're not doing it because they had a change of heart and they believe we need to end the drug war and foreign interventionism and reform campaign finance, get rid of Citizens United. I can't imagine that's actually the case. I have a feeling that they would be doing it because they're butthurt about the fact that Jeb lost. They thought he should be coronated because he's a Bush. It's a dynastic thing. So we need to be wary. Don't take their money because it's probably a bad idea. Anyone taking money from the Bushes is not going to get the votes of many libertarians. In fact, what it would do is it would piss off the sizable minority of libertarians in the party that didn't back Gary Johnson. It would really, it would cause everyone that backed every other candidate to flee the party. And Johnson would collapse back down to like 4 or 5%. That's not what we need. If the libertarian movement wants to be taken seriously and actually make inroads so that in future cycles it can get on all ballots, be in the debates, and be on an even keel with the other parties so that they can, we can get up and put the message up in front of the American people and compete with the neocons and the neoliberals, we can't cheapen that message by kowtowing to a bunch of Bushite corporatists. It just won't work because then it will just be Smaller, weaker Republican Party 2.0 with Trump's Republican Party representing populism. It won't work. It'll stay a third-tier party. The Green Party would probably rise faster. It's a terrible idea. That's about all. Peace out.